Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with an update as to what's going on with the forecast. And unfortunately, I wish we had some good news for you, but as of right now, we're just not looking at too much in the way of good news for the time being. We've got a wind advisory in effect for parts of the Mid-South, well, basically all the Mid-South at this point in time. We're also going to be seeing, again, the potential for some more showers and thunderstorms later this morning into early this afternoon. We do see, again, that potential for the possibility of some stronger weather out there as according to the Storm Prediction Center. We have now entered into an area of slight risk category which could mean some problems into and around the Mid-South, especially east of the Mississippi River. As we get into early this afternoon, going again from the west to the east across the river, and that could be a bit of a problem out there. So something to think about if you have any plans for outdoors for the later portions of the day. And that's where we're really looking for some problems out across the Mid-South into the later portions of the day today. But thanks to everybody again for joining me for this Facebook, Twitter, and Periscope update. Wish we could get all the screen in here. Let me see if I can adjust that real quick. I'm operating off of an iPad hooked into the system. So hopefully you can see everything here for the time being. And we'll keep you updated on everything else. This is our video weather blog. If you've never been here before, thanks for joining us. And again, more information available in the blue bar right here. Give you a forecast update as to what's going on into and around the Mid-South area. Breezy and cloudy for the most part. View from our Windy Country Club camera in and around Southeast Memphis is showing again some fairly quiet conditions with a few golfers out and about for this morning, but we're just not seeing anything in the way of rain. A little bit of leftover moisture on the footpath out there and several people out on the driving range for this morning. Looking around the area of downtown Memphis, you may see the camera wibble wobble back by just a little bit as we see the trains moving across the river here on the bridge trio. I-55 traffic moving along pretty well and those clouds racing along as they go uh, with a very breezy southerly wind out there. And that'll continue through the rest of the day. Likewise, our Baptist DeSoto camera from the area of I-55 in South Haven from Baptist Hospital in and around South Haven, looking off toward Horn Lake in the distance. Lots of clouds, not much to worry about in the way of rainfall at this point in time, at least just yet anyway. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little while. Traffic on I-40, I-55 in West Memphis, Arkansas is moving along pretty well. And you can almost see downtown Memphis on the skyline there. But otherwise, again, no rainfall at least, again, just yet. Here's what we're looking for for the rest of the morning. If you can't stick around for the entire forecast, we do have numbers again in the lower 70s, late this morning, early this afternoon. Then that front starts to make its way into the Mid-South. And this is going to, again, be a major shift in temperatures as those winds turn from the southwest back around to the northwest. Now, when that happens, you're going to notice it as it goes throughout the rest of the day. You might be leaving the house pretty soon. And if you do, you're going to need to take a coat or a jacket or something with you because later on this afternoon, temperatures are going to drop some 20 degrees in about five hours time and will be in the 40s later on tonight. So this is going to be something to prepare for as we get into the rest of the forecast. So if you have any plans again for outdoors, this is going to be something that you're going to have to watch out for as we get into the rest of the day today. So please plan ahead for that. This is our storm system back across the Midwest. It may not look entirely like much. We don't have a lot of storms forming ahead of this thing back into around, say, Missouri, Arkansas, and back into Oklahoma. But as the system gets a little bit closer, Closer to us, it's going to kick up more activity, and that's going to happen later on. Now, the Storm Prediction Center early this morning was watching the area north of this front from, say, Chicago, just around the area close to around St. Louis. Didn't see a reason to issue a watch for right now, but again, that could change into the next several hours, so please keep that in mind out there. Uh, Brad Young from the Deer Woods, welcome. Uh, yeah, winds may be blowing around a little bit. The deers probably better hold on to their antlers or their horns. I'm not too sure which one is which on there. I'm not quite the outdoor person. My best friend back in Kansas at Topeka West, he was a uh, hunter out there and a conservationist working with the Kansas Department of Fish and Game, so that's as much as I know on there. Marsha Couples from West Memphis, welcome on Facebook. Thank you very much. Donna Kirk Swaffer from Topeka West High School, thank you very much. Cold, rainy stuff in the middle of the night. It looks like you're getting a little bit more of that activity uh, up that direction. Raw 
Rossville, if I recall correctly, is where you are. I'm not too sure. Uh, Gloria Davis into and around the area of Ashland, Mississippi. We'll talk about timing for the storms coming up in just a little bit. Uh, Donna Kirk Swafford, yeah, the Topeka West tornado, that was something. I remember that. I was at KU when that was announced on the radio. Diane Renner, welcome to the show, and as well as to Teresa Bertram. Thank you for tuning in. National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory. This is in effect until 6 o'clock tonight, and this includes all of the counties of the News Channel 3 viewing area. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that need more coffee. This is where we see some very breezy winds. We've already seen some very breezy winds for this morning. We've actually seen winds about 40 miles per hour plus, and we'll continue to see that throughout the rest of the day. Now, once again, radar is not showing a lot in the way of rain right now, but later on, the potential does exist for more areas of showers to develop and possibly some thunderstorms moving lines on screen. That shows you where the winds are coming from and going towards. That's going to be important because as we get into lunchtime today, notice that the winds in Arkansas are going to be coming in from out of the north and west and ahead of that front right across the Mississippi River right around lunchtime are going to be going out of the south. This is going to be important because later on notice these temperatures as we go a little farther into the forecast heading into this afternoon storms along and basically on the eastern side of this front notice the temperatures behind here it doesn't look like much to start off with mid to upper 60s to lower 70s as this thing barrels on through by early this afternoon but temperatures as we go into around, say, dinner time, sunset tonight will be much lower than what they are right now. Back into the lower 70s for the next few hours, close to the 40s by dinner time and sunset tonight, upper 40s into this evening. And by News Channel 3 at 10, clearing skies, we could see some lower 40s out there. Combine that with a breezy northwesterly wind, and we could easily be looking at temperatures on wind chills down into the lower 30s. So if you're heading out the door pretty soon, Definitely want to think about taking something to kind of, you know, bundle up with just to be on the safe side because it is not going to be feeling the same way as you get done. Now, into tomorrow, no problems at all. Chilly by daybreak, temperatures back in the mid to upper 30s, and the rest of the day tomorrow looks gorgeous, just a little bit cooler, about 20 degrees cooler, but still on the cool side into that area. Carl Welch, no, that was a, a bit of phlegm in the throat. Sorry about that, but uh, that happens at this time of the morning without too much in the way of coffee out there. Thank you very much for asking. Asking. Clyde George, welcome from Jackson, Tennessee, and thanks to everybody else for making their way into the forecast area for today. This is what we're seeing for today. This is a brand new forecast only issued about an hour or so ago by the Storm Prediction Center. They're the agency with the National Weather Service and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration responsible for forecasting severe weather in the country. The threat last night was confined mainly north of Dyersburg in northwest Tennessee. Now the threat has expanded to basically all of West Tennessee and the northern tier of counties in northern Mississippi. This will be the highest risk for severe weather throughout the rest of the day. Into and around the area where the green is located, Oxford, Batesville, Clarksdale, Forest City, West Memphis, Jonesboro, Blytheville, you've got a lesser marginal threat, but that still means you have the potential for severe weather. So this is something you're going to have to watch out for. Basically, everybody in the News Channel 3 viewing area has that potential for severe weather for later on today. Again, it's not meant to panic you. If you want to sit there and cry, I'm hyping the forecast, hey, freedom of speech, go for it, but it's not the case. My job as a professional meteorologist is to let you know what the potential is for severe weather. And look, oh, here it is, the potential for severe weather for later on today. Does this get guarantee that we are going to have severe weather? Absolutely not. It just shows that this is what is capable of happening later on today. So if you want to sit there and cry hype, that's your business. I can't stop you. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, letting you know what's happening so you can make the proper decisions. Severe weather, the potential of it, never a time for panic. Never a time for panic. Always a time for preparedness, for calm decision-making beforehand, knowing what to do beforehand is absolutely important. So knowing this, what are we expecting for later on today? We should be looking again 
at the potential, the main thing we're going to be looking for is damaging winds. These thunderstorms drop some pretty gusty winds, 55 miles per hour plus. That can cause damage to tree limbs, throw debris from the yard around, cause damage to house, rip shingles off, things like that. And we cannot at this time rule out the possibility of isolated tornadoes. The threat is not great but it is still possible. And that's the main thing you need to watch out for for today. And again, that main time frame will be late this morning into early this afternoon. That's going to be the main thing you're going to have to watch out for. So if you have any plans for outdoors in the next several hours, you should be able to go ahead and keep them. But unfortunately, we may be looking for that potential of severe weather into the area as we get into later on this morning and early this afternoon. So now's the time to know what to do, where to go, what things to have ready, fresh batteries in your weather radio, keep your cell phone charged, keep an eye on News Channel 3. Most importantly, throughout the rest of the day, we'll continue to monitor this and keep you updated on this. Again, there's nothing going on immediately as of early this morning, just past 8 o'clock, about 8.16, so says the clock floating magically above my head right there in the red bar. This is, again, time frame for later on today. This is the activity that you need to watch out for, and this is what we'll be watching for later on, so keep it tuned for more on that. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the seven-day forecast and show you a little bit more about what we're looking for for the rest of the day. Again, lower 70s today. Good chance, best chance we're going to see of showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the day. Basically coming to an end past about dinner time tonight, but it will be breezy and it will be chilly out there into the evening hours, aiming for the upper 30s as we go toward tomorrow morning. Lower 50s for highs and plenty of sunshine as we get into tomorrow. Mid 50s for Monday. If you have kids heading for the bus stop for Monday morning, it is going to be very chilly Monday morning, so make certain they're ready for that. Temperatures get up to around 60 by Tuesday, heading for the big travel day on Wednesday. There will be that slight chance of a few showers out across the area. Not looking at much, but it is still possible. And then going into the big day itself, very cool, very dry. No problems being seen at all across much of the Mid-South with numbers back into the lower 50s or so. And after that, shopping on Friday, temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s there. Good news for travelers, we can get pasted very easily by storm systems at this time of the year. So this is the time frame to remember that we can get severe weather, we can get winter weather in this area. Not happening this time around. So for travelers, a few sprinkles Tuesday into Wednesday for Thanksgiving Eve. And then as everybody heads back home again, mid-60s by next Sunday and little if any chance of rainfall coming on through. Now we do see the possibility I can get my podium to turn a little bit. Back to around the lower 50s, much cooler, and there are signs that by the time we get back to work or school post-Thanksgiving on that first Monday, this may be an optimistic number right here, as in we may see temperatures much colder than this with a pretty good Arctic blast heading our way. It's possible. We're going to be keeping our eyes on that coming up throughout the course of the next several days. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. More on my forecast available on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. That's on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. We'll be glad to have you along for the ride on that. Definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the course of the rest of the weekend, especially this morning, late this morning into this afternoon. We'll be keeping our eyes on the situation as it is and keeping you updated as to what's going on out there. Uh, Cheryl Beasley Wilson, yeah, good uh, suggestion right there. This will be a good time to rake your yard because you never can tell uh, where all the stuff is going to wind up at. I'm sure your neighbors need a little bit Bit more for their compost pile, so that may help out uh, by just a little bit there. We're going to continue to monitor this throughout the rest of the day, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online. We'll keep you updated there, but again, late this morning, early this afternoon, that's going to be the main potential for anything involving severe weather. Let me go back to Storm Tracker 3S radar here real quick, so you can see a little bit more about what's going on in and around the area, which again does not amount to much at this time, but we will continue again to see more potential out there for rain and thunderstorms later on today. We're just not seeing anything out there as of about 20 past 8 o'clock. So good news, but that could change again later on this afternoon. So stick around for more on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me on News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Saturday morning. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day for updates.